Performing a new install of Retrospect or upgrading an existing installation is as simple as running the setup.exe for the Retrospect installer that you've downloaded from the internet. First thing you do is you double click on setup.exe and click install Retrospect. You'll enter the install shield wizard and then click through the various windows. Click Next, accept the license agreement, and click Next, and then click Install. If you have a 64-bit version of Windows, Retrospect will install a 64-bit version. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows, the 32-bit version will automatically be installed. When asked to open up the Windows firewall, go ahead and click Allow. In some cases, you'll see a window for installing of the Microsoft C++ 2005 redistributable. This is normal and expected. Click Finish and then close the installer. You can then go to the Start menu and open up Retrospect. You can click OK to help improve Retrospect. and then you'll need to enter your license code when the window comes up. Click Next. And if you have additional license codes, you can enter them now. If not, go ahead and click on Next. Click Next. And if you're already registered, you can select that and click Next. You'll get an option to either run Retrospect as a specific user, which is helpful when you're working with Exchange or SQL servers, or you can run Retrospect as the currently logged in user, and then click on Next. And you have the option to perform a backup now. You can uncheck that and click Finish. And now you have access to the main Retrospect window, and you can do backups, restores, or create scripts.